Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mule channel, and today I'm doing a video on comics. So we have some comic book news um, about Sean Gordon Murphy. Um, so two day, no. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um, four days ago, Sean Murphy to oversee White Knight imprint with Nightwing, Batgirl, and more. Batman White Knight creator Sean Gordon Murphy has confirmed his Murphyverse will soon be officially expanding to his very own DC imprint, hot on the heels of the success of Batman Curse of the White Knight. So he, he's, he's on the uh, White Knight series on, at DC. So basically he's going to get more books, right? So he's going to have a Murphyverse, he's, he's really important now, and he's going to have all these books, and he's going to get royalties, and you know, all good stuff for him. Yeah, here's the problem. Um, he said he was going to do a cover for um, Doug Tenopel. He's a Christian comic book creator. Uh, American animated writer, cartoonist, video game designer. So he created Earthworm Jim. So Doug Tenopel is going to, um, I think he's going to produce some more Earthworm Jim stuff. Oh no, he's he's uh, sorry, he's got a new character, Bigfoot Bill, and Sean Gordon Murphy was going to do a cover for him. So you can see here on February twenty sixth, check out Doug Tenopel's Bigfoot Bill comic for which I drew a cover. So Doug Tenopel got Sean Sean Gordon Murphy to make a cover for him. And you're thinking, well, what's the issue? <laughs> Here's the issue. Doug Tenopel is Christian. Oh, boy. He's on the right. He's a conservative. He's a conservative white man, which means he's evil. So that was the February 26th. So nine days later, Sean Gordon Murphy posts this. I recently did a cover for a creator, but it, who he doesn't even name because he's so he's like, thou you know thou shall not be named. <laughs> I recently did a cover for a creator, but it's been brought to my attention that the creator has posted opinions that are anti LGBTQ. I've spoken with that creator, and the cover will now be pulled from the project. Um, this is code word for he doesn't believe he doesn't think the way I think. He, Doug Tenopel doesn't think the way my friends think. Oh no. Oh no, a Christian. Christian man thinks differently than me. Oh no, anyone who knows me knows I'm a big supporter of the LGBTQ community. From the hard workers at my publisher, hard workers, to my fellow creators, to the people in my own family. I'm sorry if I hurt or upset anyone. I've always wanted my work to be about inclusion and people working together. It's a major theme in my Batman work, but I can't be connected to opinions that hurt the LGBT community. That means so much to my life and my upbringing. <laughs> Everybody knows in the comic book industry that Doug Tenopel is a Christian right-winger. So Sean Gordon Murphy did a cover for him because Sean Gordon Murphy isn't an extreme leftist. He's kind of like a moderate leftist. And now he's saying, oh, well, Doug Tenopel's opinions aren't, aren't LGBTQ pro, so there's something wrong with him. Um, you know his opinions the entire time, ever what he does. <laughs> yeah, what this is, is Sean Gordon Murphy was attacked by the gay Twitterati who want to destroy conservatives. And he now ag agrees with them. And if you're not, if you're not, remember this, remember this, if you're not pro LGBTQ, there's something wrong with you. But if you want to chop eight year old kids dicks off, that's okay. You know, just, just putting it out there. <laughs> I can't be connected to opinions that hurt the LGBTQ community. Um, so you're never going to work with anyone who's Christian ever again. You're never going to work with anyone who's Islamic. Do you know what they do in Islam? Or in, uh, do you know what they do in the Middle East with gay men and gay women? Um, they push them off buildings. 
almost everyone in the Middle East is Islamic. They believe in their religion. Sorry, my cat's going a little crazy. They believe in their religion. One, like, 100%. So you're never going to work with anyone who's Islamic ever again. You're never going to work with every Christian ever again. You're never going to work with a Buddhist ever again. You're never gonna <laughs> this, It is truly shocking. It is truly amazing how comic book pros can be politically... Can do political discrimination, can do religious discrimination, and can publicly say, I don't want to work with someone because they're Christian. And that's okay. Should I go to my workplace and say, I don't want to live, I don't want to work with anyone who's gay? Go to your workplace and do that and see if you're employed the next day. Why are these people allowed to pol politically, religiously discriminate against people? in the industry why tell me in the comments why why are they allowed to discriminate against people and not have any consequences whatsoever he did this because he got scared people at dc were like um you shouldn't work with him because he's no he said some bad things he said some really bad things so you shouldn't work with him so <laughs> People in the LGBTQ community haven't said things that were stupid. Haven't they? Aren't they the ones who tried all the SJWs? Aren't they the ones who wanted to hit your boy Zach over the head with a baseball bat? Aren't they the ones who kicked out uh, Ethan Van Skyver from DC because his because he was a Trump supporter? Why is the comic book industry so infested with discriminated people? Excuse me. You're allowed to discriminate in this industry for some reason. And there's no HR. There's nothing ever going to happen to him. He's going to get promoted. Now he's going to get all his Murphy verse books because Sean Gordon Murphy is now an SJW supporter, which is Jim Lee and all them people over at DC. They're all SJWs. They absolutely hate Christians or anyone who doesn't believe the way they think because they are fascists. They believe what they believe, which is fine. But then you, but then they discriminate against everyone else, to the point where no conservatives work at DC Comics. None, they've all left. And talented people like Ethan Van Skyver, Chuck Dixon, and others, they can never work there ever again, because these people discriminate politically. Who you vote for is so important to them, and now they're. Doing it on religion, and it's so embarrassing. These people are the most embarrassing people I have ever seen in my life. They're so weak. They cannot work with people who don't think the way they think. Again, go to your workplace tomorrow and say, mm, I don't want to work with these gay people because they're like gay. They might try and hit on me. I don't want to work with them. Please. I worked for six six years. I worked in a company that has like 25% of their employees are gay. For six years, I worked in that in that. Uh, I'm straight. For six years, I worked with them. I don't have anything against gay people. But what you're seeing is fascism on their side. You have to believe what they believe or there's something wrong with you. Um, why can't we just have our own opinions? You can have your opinion, we can have our opinion, and everyone can just live. But Sean Gordon Murphy has now sided with the SJW Twitterati crew, who probably dragged him through the mud for two weeks, saying, Oh, why are you with this person? Why are you on uh, Indiegogo? Why are you supporting Christians? And then now, today, he comes up with these... Uh, uh, tweets and he's gonna be praised oh my god thank you so much sean Gordon murphy thank you so much for disavowing this, cr this crazy christian man uh, doug tenapel come on <laughs> this is why people don't take the comic book industry seriously that's why they have they're selling the lowest amount of comic issues they have ever sold they have to keep increasing the prices to make money off the backs of hardcore fans 
and collectors. And it's so embarrassing. These people are embarrassing. These are worse. Like, your boy Zach call these people the worse than terrorists? They might be. <laughs> wow, Sean Gordon Murphy is now an SJW. So, what do you think of this video? Um, please comment, like, please subscribe to the channel. And, wow, what do you, this is shocking news. Two weeks ago, he's like, yeah, he's so happy to do a cover for Greg Tanapel. And then two weeks later, he's denouncing the, the guy on a big project. Huh. Isn't that a little fishy? Who got to him? Who at DC told him, uh, you should not work with him? We will find out, probably. But it's most likely the um, you know the Twitter crew, the people who tweet a hundred times a day, who are mentally ill. Yeah, it's probably those people. You know, discrimination, blackmail. This is what comic book industry is in 2020. Emotional blackmail. You have to believe what we believe, or there's something wrong with you. And it's absolutely disgusting. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.